Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kind of Crafty Kenzie. I am Kenzie. My channel has everything to do with DIYing, crafting, turning trash to treasure, thrift flips, repurposing, upcycling, and some shopping hauls. Basically anything to do with home decor on a budget. So if that is something you love, you are in the right place. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Join my little crafty family. Put a little Kenzie in your day. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you love like it it really helps my channel grow and I appreciate it so so much normally today we would be doing some tear tray cuties for tear tray cutie Friday but I had a little glitch <laughs> in my plans this week so no tear tray cuties this Friday but I am gonna bring you some adorable just regular farmhouse style DIYs super inexpensive and I think they turned out pretty cute but y'all have to let me know so let's go for DIY number one, I am just going to use some of this gorgeous scrapbook paper that I actually got from Amazon, and it is linked in my description box. Go to my Amazon storefront under scrapbook paper and you will find it. This is the spring collection from Cartabella. So as you can see, this sheet right here looks like a whole bunch of little like four and a half by six size pictures. So I went ahead and cut those out and then found this dollar store or Dollar Tree frame um, that it would fit in perfectly. So I actually have three of these that I'm going to make. And as you can see, I just painted the frame white and then I did distress over it a little bit with just a slight amount of elephant gray chalk paint. Now to go ahead and attach the little picture to the frame, I'm just simply using a little bit of hot glue. I decided not to put the backing back on, but you totally could. But I thought of another idea for that in the way I'm going to style it style this DIY you don't need the backing so anyways that was that and now I'm just going to make the other two super quickly <laughs> and then I'm going to show you how I put all three of them together here we go again staying up on my to see if you've been texting me where do we go from here I want to go all in I just grabbed some burlap that I have. I think I got this from Amazon a long time ago. If I did, it is in my Amazon store. I love having this Amazon store. It is so much easier to link stuff for you guys. So anyways, as you can see, I'm just placing the little frames out onto this as evenly as possible. And then I'm just going to simply hot glue them down to that burlap. Now, this is definitely a delicate DIY don't be hanging this outside in the rain or anything but this is perfect for like maybe the back of a pantry door or I don't know just like a small little space in your home just to give it a little bit of a farmhouse vibe I just love the colors I love the picture I just I don't know it's just crazy what a piece of scrapbook paper and three frames from the Dollar Tree can do now I'm going to go ahead and grab some of this like ribbon it's not, it's not, that's not ribbon. That's more like a um, rope that I actually took off of another project. And as you can see, I'm just going to glue it down and then cover it up with a little bit more burlap. And that's it for this one. It is all set and it costs $3. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I think it's pretty cute. But y'all have to let me know what you think. Where do we go from here? I want to go all in. So give me a sign. For DIY number two, I am going to use these three little houses that I got from Dollar General um, probably last springish time. Uh, I'm not quite sure if they still have them, but I'm sure you could find something similar. And they were only a dollar, as you can see, and I was able to remove those little roof pieces without breaking them, which I was happy about because I definitely want to reuse them here in a minute. But first, we are just going to go ahead and cover them with some scrapbook paper. Now, this scrapbook paper, as you can see, if you can see it, it is also from that spring market from that Cartabella collection that it is in my Amazon storefront. And... Um, I'm pretty sure the green one is as well. I do mix a couple different packs of scrapbook paper in this video, but again, they are all linked in my Amazon storefront, you guys. So just go to the scrapbook paper section. So as you can see for two of the houses, I went with that like really pretty kind of like wood look. And then for the third one, I did more of like that greenery. Now I'm just gonna paint over the top of these little metal roofs with some white chalk paint. And then I came in with some of my elephant gray and now I am just going to give it a nice distressing look 
and I love to do this by starting out with white and then build with some gray. Sometimes I add in some brown effects, sometimes I don't, this time I did not, and then I came back in with a little bit more white. And then I am just going to go ahead and attach these little rows back on these houses with some hot glue. And I think they look so cute. I love the white and I just love the like simplicity of them. I didn't put anything else on them. I thought they would be perfect just like this. So give me sun. Uh, uh, uh. Now I'm just going to grab this little box hanging piece. I don't know what you call this from Dollar Tree. As you can see, this is from like two Halloweens ago. And to cover up all that black, I went ahead and painted this with my Truffle Brown chalk paint. But then I decided to go with a different color scheme. So now I'm going to cover it with my white chalk paint. And then I came in with some elephant gray chalk paint. I just could not I could not decide so I just kept a painting but <laughs> after I finally landed on the gray then I went ahead and um, sanded over top of it so that it would pull through a lot of the white so it looked like it was gray and then it was super super distressed or it was white and then it was just distressed however you want to look at it but I like the way it looked in the end so after I finally get that to the color I wanted and then got it nice and sanded down and the rougher it looked, the better. So it's not even, the paint's thick here and there, perfectly fine, so yes. Anyways, and then I just went ahead and glued these little houses together with some hot glue. As you can see, I'm gonna just attach that middle one with the greenery on it, like in the middle. And I just simply attached it down at the bottom and then kind of weaseled in up at the top to kind of secure it where the roofs touched at the top obviously <laughs> um you guys have to excuse my brain a long story it's been a rough week here at the kind of crafty kenzie house but everything's fine it's just i need a nap anyways <laughs> so and now we're going to attach some tumbling tower blocks to the back of these little houses to help them stand up on this little riser and i did go back in and attach even more tumbling tower blocks like on the back of this just to secure it a little bit more give it a little more stability now i'm going to use this little family word plaque from the dollar tree and i left it in its plain wood natural state i thought that it would be kind of cool all these different like natural tones like the greens the whites the gray and of course that natural wood color just kind of tying all together and uh, again i love the simplicity of it let me know what you guys think about it below though oh, give me a sign. baby give me a sign. just give me one more <laughs> I interrupt these adorable DIYs being made to make a quick public service announcement. I need to thank all of my awesome subscribers for all of your love and support, tuning in and watching my videos, leaving inspiring and uplifting and just downright sweet comments. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I could not and would not be here without y'all. And all of my newcomers today, a welcome to my channel. My name is Mackenzie, aka Kenzie. I am a stay-at-home mom to three little girls, and I am from a tiny, tiny rural town in Pennsylvania. As you can see, I am absolutely obsessed with crafting and DIYing, and if that is something you love, which I assume it is because you are here, you are going to love it here. So don't forget to subscribe before you go. Turn your bell notification on so you never miss an upload. I also want to let you guys know that I am over on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook, and all of my links are in my description box, the bio of my channel, and in the next video slide coming up. I would love if you come follow me over on Instagram because I'm able to interact with you guys a lot more. I share a little bit more about my personal life and I love to see any DIYs that I have inspired you to recreate and put your own spin on it. I now return you to your regular scheduled program. For DIY number three, I'm going to use this little metal bucket that uh, also came from the Dollar Tree. So tons of super inexpensive DIYs here, guys. So much Dollar Tree materials used. Anyways, I'm going to cover this entire bucket with white chalk paint. And I didn't take off the twine. I didn't tape it off. If it got a little bit on it, it's okay. We're not going to freak. <laughs> so I set that aside to dry. And then I went ahead and grabbed one of Dollar Tree's windmills. Um, you can get these pretty much readily in the springtime. When I first saw them probably two years ago, I stocked up pretty heavy on them. So I've got lots to use. Now this is kind of comical, so I left it in here. But this was definitely some good let out some tension and stress therapy. Um, I wanted that welcome sign off of there. 
<laughs> and it's like welded together, like very tiny welded together. And I was like, how am I going to get this off here? So I'm just like, all right, we're just, we're going to figure it out. We're just going to go for it. And I literally had that metal welcome in a ball, <laughs> but I finally got it off. So that's what matters. So yay. Anyways, <laughs> now we are just going to go ahead and distress this. Um, a lot like I did a little bit ago with the white in the gray um, on that little riser for the houses but as you can see I painted it white came in with some elephant gray went white over top of it and then I even come in with a little bit of truffle brown to make it look kind of rusty and now I'm just doing the same thing with that bucket you guys know I had it painted white then I went over it really sloppily with gray then I went over it even more sloppily with white and then came back in with some of my truffle brown to give it some rust. I definitely went around the seam on the side of the bucket and then of course at the bottom and then all around like the rest of it to make sure it looked nice and rusty like it's been sitting outside forever. And then after I liked the way the brown looked, I did come back in with a little bit more white just to kind of make it look more natural. And then the windmill pretty much will look the same way. Like this stuff has been sitting outside for quite a long while and just forgotten about you know that really gross dirty rustic farmhouse look that we all love here <laughs> so after i finally got it all painted and exactly how i love it oh and i did want to say all like my windmill i tend to go more on just like the edges and um like where the windmills or like the, the blades i guess you could say would like attach into the center then um i went and grabbed one of this or yeah i had this this is floral foam. Um, it's something that I had left over from a flower pot that I tore apart. So it fit, perfect, it fit perfectly in here. So I just went ahead and slid that down in there and it is weighted. So if you want to put this outside, obviously under a protected porch would be perfect because it's not going to blow away. Um, that uh, floral foam actually is weighted. So anyways, so then I just went ahead and threw in some Spanish moss and now I'm going to use some eucalyptus from Walmart. And, and now I kind of wanted to give it like that, like grown up, like floral was grown up, like, you know, it's like I said, sitting there forever, a little bit of yellow ragweed or whatever. I am so allergic to that stuff, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so that is the look I was going for here. I think I accomplished it. You guys will have to let me know what you think about this one. But I just, I really like the rustic feel of this one. You give me a sign. For this last DIY, I am going to use this adorable little Pennsylvania estate plaque with the word home on it. This came from Liz's um, little craft store, and I've talked about her tons and tons before. You guys, her website is linked in my description box always, and if you use my code, Kind of Crafty Kenzie, you will get 10% off all of your orders. So, as you can see, I'm going to use some more of that gorgeous scrap of paper from Amazon. Again, this is also in my Amazon storefront. This pack is one of my favorites. They have so much like gorgeous antique farmhouse style. Don't mind Siren. Siren says hi. <laughs> Anyways, so I chose to do a Mod Podge on this because this is a very thick textured cardstock type of paper. And I didn't want to risk it tearing because... Um, you know, it is a thicker piece of wood and whatnot, so I just wanted it to look a little more high-end. So that is what I chose to do with that, but you could definitely use school glue. I just chose differently today. I did omit the heart since the scrap of paper was pretty busy, and I didn't feel I could place it anywhere where I really like liked it. And I did leave the home in the natural wood tone because I thought that was really pretty up against that busy background. And that's it. So I kept it super simple. It was ridiculously easy. Obviously, Liz did most of the work, but um, I love the way this looks as well. So that's it for the video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed all of these DIYs today. Sorry it was a little different than the rest, <laughs> but um, I'll be back next week with a lots more inspiration. Thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, I appreciate all of you. I hope you enjoyed them, and I will see you guys very soon. <laughs> Bye.